What should drive design is comprehensive thinking, an understanding of the beginning to the end. What has been driving it for the last hundred years is the separation from the means and methods. Designers are focused on the image, not in how the image is made. And when you create this divorce between how it is made and the thing that you're making, you lose a lot. And what we want to do is not lose anything. We want to put those things back together. It's not a new idea, it's an old idea. Master builders were that before. So what we wanted to do was change the undergirding logic to create an industry that could do more with less and to make something beautiful in that process. Design, manufacture, construct, DMC for short, is our method. We think about it as a collective genius, a number of people that come together to create this singularity. So we've pulled the architects and the engineers and the logisticians and the computer programmers to a single place where we could think in terms of a singularity, not design, throw it over the wall, manufacture it, throw it over the wall, construct it. We remove all of those, those barriers, the silos between it, and we think it now about one thing, it's a action. Design, manufacture, construct is a verb, and we act differently than someone who is not interested in how it's made. What we get is this constant feedback between what the artifact that we imagine is and the actual artifact that we're making. And it's not 12 months later. It's not on an airplane ride away. It's, it's five feet away from the door. We are doing design as an integrated process with how we make it. So design, manufacture, construct. It is a way to think. It is a shared philosophy. And it is the rules of engagement that the ecosystem must have in order to do more with less beautiful.